my friends are here. That's you. I am so excited to see you right here at my house. My name is Miss Patty Cake, and I'm glad you came to see me today. I'm so happy to see your face right here. And you know that that's a very funny name I have. I know, but it's because of this dress I wear. What do I have right here on my pockets? Can you see? That's right. They are hands. You have some hands too. And then what's right here? It is a big heart. Exactly true. Well, I wear this dress just to remind me that God loves me. That's why there's a heart. It's because of God's love, just like God loves you too. And my hands are down here just to remind me to clap my hands to give Thanks and praise up to God. You might know that Miss Patty Cake always says every day is a patty cake praise day because I have a very special song and you can sing along with me. This is how it goes. Can you hold up your hands? Now clap your hands with me and say patty cake, patty cake, clap and play. Patty cake, patty cake every day. Patty cake, patty cake, praise the Lord. Patty cake, patty cake, praise with a pat, pat, pat and a tap, tap, tap. Your little hands can clap, clap, clap. It's the perfect day for patty cake praise. So pat and tap and clap, clap, clap. Good job. You are good at clapping. Friends, are you ready for a story? You are. So am I. Come over here. I have something to show you. It's a very special story we have to tell. What do I have right here? It's my Easter basket. And what is in my Easter basket? Do you see all these bright colored eggs? Well, these bright colored eggs are so much fun because they tell a story for everyone. We're going to open some and peek inside and maybe we'll find a surprise. Let's start with the blue egg right here. In this egg, I hear a sound when I shake it all around. I'll open it and see. Inside is a little, oh, it's a donkey. Oh, how is this part of the Easter story? I know. Jesus rode a little donkey into the big city, the city of Jerusalem. Can you say that? Jerusalem. And the people were so excited to see Jesus. He was riding on the donkey and they went and got branches from the palm trees and they waved their branches and they said a big word and maybe you know it already. They said, Hosanna. Can you say that? Hosanna. That's what they said. Are you ready to sing about it? Here we go. Can you hear the click clock? Can you hear the click clock? Can you hear the donkey riding into town? Can you see Jesus? Can you see Jesus? Can you see Jesus riding up and down? Let's skip and jump and dance and sing. Clap your hands and praise the King. Lift your hands and give a shout. children picked up palm branches and they waved the branches while they sang. You just wave your arms like this. Here we go. Ready? Can you wave the branches? Can you wave the branches? Can you wave the branches? Wave them while you sing. Can you sing Hosea? Good job. You 
are good at singing Hosanna to Jesus. Now, do you know what happened next in the story? Well, Jesus went to a house to have supper with some of his best friends. Do you ever have supper with your friends? Let's look and see which egg will tell us what they did at the supper. Oh, here's an egg. What color is this egg? That's right. It's purple. Do you like purple? Let's see what's hiding inside this egg. Inside this egg. Oh, I open it up. What's inside? It's a tiny cup. The Bible tells us that Jesus drank from a cup and Jesus shared some bread. And then who can remember what Jesus said? Can you remember what Jesus said? Hmm. Can I remember? Remember, if I could just remember what Jesus... Whoa, wait, I remember. Jesus said, remember me. Can you say that? Ready? Remember me. When we eat and when we drink, we can remember Jesus. That's what they did at the Last Supper. And then after the Last Supper, Jesus did something else. Let's see which egg will tell us. Which one should we find? How about the orange egg? If I open this up, I see something we use all the time. These are hands held together in this special way. See, like that? Hands held together in this way show us that it's time to pray. That's right. When we pray, we talk to God. Well, the Bible says Jesus went outside to a garden to pray. And we know what he said that night in the garden. Can you pray with Miss Patty Cake and sing this song? We'll pretend to be in the garden just like Jesus. We can pray too. We can talk to God. In the garden late that night, Jesus prayed with all his might. Father, help me do what's right. I'll say yes to you. Lord, I'll say yes to you. What did Jesus say? Ready? Jesus said yes. Jesus said yes. Jesus said yes to the Father. And we can say yes. We can say yes. We can say yes to Him too. Now you can pray too. Now I will listen when I pray. Talk to God both night and day. Just like Jesus, I will say, I'll say yes to you. Lord, I'll say yes to you. I can say yes. I can say yes. I can say yes to the Father. I can say yes, you can. I can say yes to him too. Let's say amen together. Ready? Amen. 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 Did you finish praying? When we say amen, do you know what that means? It means yes. We say yes to God when we pray. Jesus said yes to God, and you can say yes to God too. That night, when Jesus prayed, after he finished, his disciples, his friends were with him, and they heard something like that. Oh, the soldiers, they marched. They marched into the garden. They said, where is Jesus? And Jesus said, here I am. I am. 
That's one of Jesus' names. He said, here I am. And the Bible tells us that the soldiers took Jesus away. And you know the story. Let's find the egg that will show us. I think the egg is the yellow egg. And this yellow egg, I hear a sound. And inside, what do I find? I think you know what it is. It is a a cross. Can you see the cross? This is the cross where Jesus died for you and for me. He died on a cross made of a tree. That's right. The Bible says Jesus stretched out his hands and he died on the cross for you and me. And it was a very sad day for Jesus' friends. And they cried and they cried because they didn't know why did Jesus have to die. And they took his body down from the cross and they put it into a grave. It wasn't in the ground. It was more like a cave. And the Bible tells us that a great big stone, they rolled and rolled in front of the cave to cover the hole. And the soldier said, that's it, the end. Jesus is gone. He's dead. He's in that cave and he's never coming back. The end, the end. Huh. But wait, is that The end of the story? Let me hear you say, no way. Can you say it? No way. Because something happened on the third day. Ooh, which egg will tell us? Which one should we find? Let's look in the pink egg right here in time. Open this egg. And what do we see inside? It's (laughs) It's a rock. Can you see the rock? This rock is small. Hmm, that's true. But on that day, remember the stone was huge. God's mighty power rolled the stone away. It was a mighty resurrection day. Can you say resurrection? Resurrection. That means back, point to your back, back to life. Let's sing about it. There was a shake and a rattle and the stone was rolled away. There was a shake and a rattle and the stone was rolled away. There was a shake and a rattle and the stone was rolled away. Rolled away.
alive. Oh, there's one more egg. Let's see what it is. It's the light blue egg hiding here. <laughs> Let's open it and see inside. Wait, this egg is empty. It's what? Empty. That's right. It shows that the grave is empty inside. Jesus is not dead. He is alive. That's right. Jesus is alive. So Miss Patty Cake has a fun song. You can sing along. Hold up your five fingers just like that. And when I say a number, you say it right after me like this. I'll say one. And you say one. That's right. Here we go. Ready? One. Jesus was born, he came to earth on Christmas morn. Two, he loves you, he lived a life so good and true. Are you ready for three? Hold up three fingers. Three, for you and me, he gave his life on Calvary. And four, there's so much more. Three days later, he jumped from the grave. He went to heaven, and now he prays for you and me every day, every day. So hold up five. Ready? Five. He's alive. Jesus is alive. Again, say five. He's alive. Jesus is alive. So Reach up high and give me five. Can you give me a high five? Oh, give somebody else a high five in your house. And shout and sing. He is the king. Who is our king? Let me hear you say, Jesus. That's right. Jesus is our king. So five, five, give me five. Jesus is alive. Live. Yay, Jesus! Good job, good job. Thank you for singing with me the whole story of the mighty resurrection day. And don't forget what Miss Patty Cake always says that every day is a Patty Cake praise day because we can remember Jesus who stretched out his arms and died for us. And remember that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Jesus made a way to heaven. Jesus made a way to heaven. And you can pray right now and ask Jesus to fill your heart with his love. And then you can be in God's family. And we can be together forever. That is God's big plan. Can you clap your hands and say, yay God, with Miss Patty Cake? Okay, see you next time. Hey, parents, moms and dads, grandparents and teachers, you can find all of Miss Patty Cake's resources by visiting the website. That's misspattycake.com. And there you'll find a store with everything we have to offer, music and books and videos, as well as the streaming channel. It will bring everything for your children into your home so they can know more about God's big love.